Hello everyone. Today we are going to see what are the different types of retail stores. The first type of retail store is convenience stores. This is very popularly known as pop and mom show stores also. So where are these uh, convenience stores located? So this is located close to the residential area so as to make easy access to the customers. It offers limited range of products like grocery, daily needed, FMCG product. It is small in size as compared to the other retail stores. I think most of us have experienced this uh, convenience stores. This is usually very popular in India because next to our any uh, residential area, you find these kind of convenience stores. And what do we buy from these convenience stores? We buy day-to-day -day or daily need items right from a loaf of a bread or maybe as it is uh, said, some kind of a grocery or any kind of an FMCG products would be sold by these convenience stores. So as the name says convenience store, so it is for the customers, it is com conveniently available. Second one is chain of stores. So a single retailer establishes a chain of stores with executive store design, often offers certain special goods and services to all chains have exclusive design selling and promotional plan. Uh, for example, we have Tanishk, which deals with the gold jewelry. Then we have Remins, which exclusively deals with shootings and shirtings. We have Lifestyle, which is a uh, multi uh, uh, types of product store. So these are the examples of the chain stores. Then we have a franchise. So uh, when we can see the exam, when we can see the example, McDonald's and the Pizza Hut. So this is the best way to enter into any retail structure. In this type of retail outlet, the store is owned and operated by an individual on behalf of and is licensed by a big supporting organization. So here you have to take a franchisee of these kind of outlets like McDonald's, Pizza Hut, where you cannot make any kind of a changes in the appearance of that particular store. You cannot make any changes in the interiors of the store as well as you cannot make changes in the menu of the store. It has already been decided by the main big organization and the people who are buying these franchises, they need to follow that particular requirement of that particular store. Then we have specialty stores. A specialty store is a shop that caters one specific retail market. Examples of specialist stores include camera stores, pharmacy, stationery, bookstores, etc. In other words, a shop that specializes in one breed of products. So only one category of products where it has been uh, sold, that particular store is known as the specialty store. Say, for example, if you have a Nikon store, so Nikon deals with the cameras. Likewise, we have pharmacy. When we talk about trust medicals, it only deals with the pharmacy. Likewise, when we talk about the stationery shops, we have, uh, for example, in Bangalore, we have Sapna Book Depot. So they only deal with the stationery. Or we have Home Depot, which also deals with only with the stationery. And uh, we have different bookstores like Crosswords. So they only exclusively deal with the books only. So only here they will be catering the needs of a specific uh, direction only or one breed of products are only being sold under the specialty store. Then we have departmental stores have various departments like cosmetics, stationery, clothing, food products, etc. under one room or one roof. Here one department is treated as a profit center or strategic business unit or these stores are larger in size as compared to convenience stores and the specialty stores. A uh, few examples are like Shopstop, Pantaloon. These are the examples of the departmental stores. Then we talk about next type of retail store is supermarket. These are bigger than departmental stores offering more products like houseware section, electronic goods, give more services than the departmental store. One good example is Nilgiri's brand in the South in India. Then we have hypermarket. These are very large in size. These provide large parking than the supermarkets and departmental stores provide to their customers. A very good example of hypermarket is Big Bazaar. Then we have shopping malls. So it is an arrangement of retail stores and providing the right mix of shopping. Here retail space is shared by other retailers who operate these retail outlets individually. Such group of retail outlets in the same building or premises is called as a shopping mall. A good example is we have uh, 
एस जी मॉल इन पुणे पिरामिड विशाल इन मुंबई लाइक वाइज वी हैव फिनिक्स मॉल ऑफ एशिया इन बैंगलोर दीज आर दैक फ्यू एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ द शॉपिंग मॉल्स then we have discount stores these are differentiated themselves on the basis of the low prices and they provide lot of offers to the customers then we have factory outlet so these are owned and operated by the manufacturer who sells the product directly to the consumers at the low price that means there are no middlemen involved in these stores directly the products are been sold in this factory store few good examples for this is nike you have puma you have raymond as well as you have bata so these are the 10 types of retail stores what we have learned thank you very much i hope these type these uh, types of retail stores are very clear to all of you thank you very much